Hi, welcome to Collective Gifts. I'm Noella and this is Rachel. Hello, hello everyone. With the year coming to a close, if you haven't seen God answer your prayer, then you might be thinking it's too late for God to do something. Well, we are here to encourage you that it's not too late for God to do something. You know, God, he doesn't operate by our calendar system. And just because it's the end of our year here on earth, doesn't mean that he's just going to go pack up his bags and go on vacation. <laughs> he never sleeps nor slumbers. He's always working everything out together for our good. And sometimes certain things, it could happen swiftly. There's other times where it might involve other people or it might be a bigger work. So there's different things that he has to orchestrate or even things that we have to work on ourselves as well to uproot, to prune or to grow or, or break free from. So we, we don't have to get discouraged by the fact that we don't see something big, you know, as in big tangible change or transformation. We can trust that God's word is true. He is working and he will not stop because he's faithful to complete that which he started. And so we want to encourage you that it's not too late for God to do something. And an example of that is for us. Um, during the holidays, our plans for Thanksgiving and Christmas fell through. But just because it fell through, it didn't mean that we were giving up on the promises of God and what we were believing him to do. Our prayer for our family for years, which you may already know if you watch us regularly, is that we believe that God is going forth um, healing and restoring our family, that we are a family of love and unity, and that we enjoy living life together. So just because we couldn't gather together for the holidays didn't mean that God wasn't going to work or we're just going to give up on God. Instead, we recognize he might be doing something different. And one of the things that we believe he was doing was that he was giving us a time of rest. So we didn't have to travel or, you know, get overworked with, you know, cooking and stuff for the holidays. Also, we believe that it was an opportunity for us to continue to personally grow and develop as well as to spend time together. And, you know, we enjoyed that moment. Well, as I was working on the content for this series... You know, I was thinking in my head, it's not too late. And I was thinking, it's not too late for God to move or to, to change our plans. And uh, a little while later, I got a call from my cousin, who was the one organizing our holiday gathering. And he let me know that even though we weren't getting together for Christmas, we were able to get together for the day after Christmas for lunch. Now, we have different relatives living in different states, and the the it seems like it's a little thing because we're gathering the day after Christmas as opposed to celebrating the big holiday. But this was still a breakthrough because everyone was willing to adapt and make changes in their schedule. They were willing to also meet up where some other people may have had to travel farther than what they were going to intend. And there's other people that just happened to be there. So, you know, it worked out that we could plan and coordinate so that we can be that family of love and unity and enjoy living life together. And as we were going forth in, you know, going forth in this process, you know, we were standing on the promises of God, believing that God would do something. So when whatever prayer that you have that you've been wanting God to answer, which is not too late, what you can do is assess and find out what scriptures apply to your situation, what scriptures will help encourage you. And so write those scriptures down, put it in a place where you will see it every day and read it and read it out loud to yourself so that it gets into your spirit and that encourages you and just continues to just give you that hope and that faith to stand upon that word. And so another thing that you can do is also um, create a declaration you know, things that you want to see God do and just be able to read it out loud every day as well. And, you know, put it and incorporate it in your time of prayer or whenever that you have a moment to read it out loud, because that will also encourage you because it is not too late for God to do something because he said it in his word. If you ask anything according to his will, he hears you. And when we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know we have the petitions that we have asked of him so that we know that, you know, Whatever you pray, believe and you will receive it. And so we want to go forth believing and not letting anything, not letting our senses stop us or cause us to just lose faith. Mm -hmm. And when we stand on the word, that means we're not going to get moved by our senses. We're only moved by the word of God, which is what we believe. So those times where you feel discouraged, like, oh, it's too late for God to do something or he forgot about me or I'm not important. So he's not going to do, you know, work on me. He's going to do someone else. 
Well, you can always declare those scriptures and those declarations, recite them out loud. And in fact, not only declare it, but you know, the next step of our faith is going forth and thanking him for it, praising him for it, because you know, he's already done it. And like Nola said, when we know it's according to his will, there is no doubt that it's going to happen. We can rest assured that what God says is so, and he is faithful, hallelujah, to keep every single promise. So be encouraged. The year's not over. You can continue to stand on the word. And even if it's a little victory, a little victory is still a victory. It doesn't have to be something big. It's a breakthrough. So we can go forth and just trust God that even those little things, they count as something. They matter. And so be encouraged. God is working. And it's not too late to believe that God is going to do something. Thank you all for joining us this week during this fast. We hope that um, it really ministered to you and encouraged you and you were able to apply different things. And just because it's over doesn't mean you can stop. The year's not over. So keep going forth, taking steps, doing those little things, doing the big things, you know, whatever it is so that you can make progress because it's not about perfection. It's about progression. And when you take steps, ticking off the boxes of your list of the things to do, you'll see the progression in it. And we are turning this year around because we are finishing it strong. So thank you for joining us. God bless you all. And we will see you again soon. And until next time, Shaloha. Shaloha.